Welcome to part two of our overview on how to create a online course. We're going to be using Course Sites, which is a service of Blackboard and is provided free for anybody who wants to create an online course. The first thing you'll need to do is to sign up and I want to point out something to you. Uh, after you insert your name and your email address, you're going to have to put in your username and password. Once you do that, make certain that you record a, uh, or make a record of your username and password because if you use it, if you lose it, it's gone. There is no way to recover it. So email it to yourself and save it in a folder on your hard drive so that you will never uh, lose that e If you lose your uh, password and username, you can get it back. This field here where it says course site URL, it's going to be a unique identifier for your course. Write in something that identifies your course as your course. You can put in t your name, um, Tommy's course, or Barbara's course, or Jose's course, or the name of the course, anything like that, and you're off and running. You'll have to type in uh, the two words that you see here into this field, and then you're set to go. In uh, my case, I'm already registered with Course Sites, so I'm going to go back and log in. And this is what I see, and it's what you will see when you uh, have a logon and password and log into your course. So we need to create the course and the objective here is to show you how to create how to create the basic part of your course you can start either by clicking create a course here or create a course here on the uh, on this menu I'll click here I'm going to put in a course name applications of technology version 2.0 and I have to give it a unique ID, INST 6031, oops, version two, and course description. This course trains structural That should do. We're not going to import a course package. And now that I've filled out the items in section one, I'll click submit. And I have a course. I'll cancel this. And now I'm going to begin building the course in use clicking here on content. Now there are a number of different things you could do in this course. I could add discussions, I could add groups, I could put in uh, questionnaires, surveys, and so on and so forth. But if you understand how to build the content of the course, and this means to get the guts of your course uh, onto the course management system, you will pretty much understand how to do everything else within course sites. So first thing we're going to do is come up to this menu and open up the menu and come down here to where it says a learning module. Select learning module. This is going to be kind of like a folder for your course. It's going to be the first week's folder. So I'm going to put in class one. Now remember that um, Word document that we had created? And I said copy and paste from the Word document so you don't have to think too much. I've just copied the topic of class one. Scroll down a little bit. I want to make certain I permit my users to see this, to view this content. I'm not going to put any 
date and time restrictions, so it's going to stay up permanently. And I'm not going to enforce sequential viewing of the learning module. I'm not going to have it open in a new window, and I don't think I'm going to track the number of views. I'm going to simplify things. Yes, I'm going to show the table of contents to users. I will submit. And here is class one, keeping track of what you do the easy way. However, there's nothing in class one. All we have is the folder. So I'm going to go here and click on the title of class one. And more or less, we see the same uh, screen pop up. And again, I'm going to select build content. Only this time, I want to insert an item. Click. And what I want to do now is to give my students an overview of what is going to be in class one. So remember the Word document. I've just copied and pasted that from the Word document. And once again, I'm going to copy and paste the entire overview that I had in that original Word document right here. Scroll down. If I wanted to add an attachment, I could. I'm not going to. I'm, I want to keep this simple. Make certain you permit your viewers to see this content. And don't select the time and date, uh, ref, date and time restrictions so it will stay up. Submit. And now you see within that large folder we have created an overview, an overview of class one. However, there's more to class one than just the overview. Select item again. What should come next? Well, how about the objectives? Now, remember, on the Word document, I had written all those objectives on the Word document. In fact, the whole class, everything I want the students to do is on that one Word document. And you can see that I'm just copying and pasting from the Word document to uh, course sites. Check the other items. Do I want to attach anything? No, I don't. Do I want to permit the users to view this content? Yes, I do. I'm not going to restrict the top, the date, and times that it can be viewed. Submit. And that is basically how you uh, build the course. As you go along in the course, you'll get more information and instruction in, in the form of videos and written documentation. A lot of it will come from uh, Blackboard, which will show you how to create a test, a survey, create assignments, which is very important, how to enter, create a discussion board, blogs, journals, uh, wikis, uh, perhaps you want to do some sort of voice presentation. And one interesting thing here is that um, you can enter uh, publisher content. You can search for textbooks and uh, you can add uh, the um, t content from certain publishers that you might possibly have a, uh, a contract with, but we're not going to worry too much about that in this course. So essentially, that is how you get the your course uh, into the course management system. A lot of this will become a lot clearer as you get into the second and third weeks of the uh, of the course.